Hey, Gemini, it's Nicola. Let me close this cabinet. Yes, I am one of those people don't like things out of place. Um, that stuff is not out of place, actually. <laughs> I'm cooking. So let's see what messages we have. This is for mid-April 2019. What messages do we have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys didn't read the poll, so you only get the love reads. Let's see what messages we have for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and love. Mid-April 2019. Messages for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Love. This is for mid-April 2019. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Love. Mid-April 2019. All right, so let's see what we got. Eight of Pentacles, working, working, working. Gemini Rising here seem to be doing a lot of that. A lot of working here. Some of you guys are working on building something with someone new. Page of Cups under here. You're at 444. Four, four. Whoa, two fours here. Two fours and two sevens. Huh. So you're stuck needing to make a choice here. Could be choosing between two people. Three of Cups here. What the fuck? Gemini, what you got going on here? Aries energy here, maybe in conflict here about setting some boundaries to a situation. To a situation, okay. So some of you guys need to go within yourself. You need to go within your emotions here. Um, let's see what's going on, Gemini. So we do have the Four of Swords here, being mentally stuck, needing to go within yourself, needing to be in alignment with what it is that you desire. Some of you guys could be heartbroken, and you may still be laying next to the person that's heart that's breaking your heart. Um, why is this four of swords here? Emperor here. Someone could be controlling the situation, trying to keep you mentally stuck. Um, why is this four of swords here? Why is this four of swords here? Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups. Yes, you got a new opportunity for a relationship to grow closer. Excuse me. Y'all, let me take my cornbread out. My apologies. I gotta cook too. So, yeah. Let me take my cornbread out. So, you could be most definitely dealing with someone that is trying to control you. You could be trying to set boundaries to a relationship. There could be a new offer to come in. That may be why you're going through this. Um, sort of being stuck mentally needed to be in alignment with what, with what you desire. So you guys have another party here. Page of Cups, someone new here that is making an offer here. They may be controlling though, or you may be blocking this new person here because you need to be in alignment with what it is that you desire. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? And y'all, I'm sorry y'all seen me having to get up and, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> get up and do, you know, home type of duties like cook for my kids but you know it happens got the queen of swords here so there you may be very guarded while you make the decision um queen of swords being discerning of moving forward some of you guys you may be dealing with third party here so you're trying to be discerning if for some of you guys you may be controlling the situation trying to be in alignment with what's going on because you may feel as though you're in a third party you may be burdened though because you don't want to cooperate moving forward if this is a third party so some of you guys can be very guarded here kind of guarding yourself against it you may be guarding yourself against someone who may be trying to put you in a third party seven of wands here standing your ground fighting that dragon why is the seven of wands here like they literally fighting a dragon i ain't just talking shit so they're fighting the dragon here. Why is the seven of wands here? Why is the seven of wands here? Two of pentacles here. Yeah. So you're fighting imbalances. Ace of pentacles, five. You're worried about a new opportunity. So you have a new opportunity here. Some of you guys, you may be trying to be discerning of moving forward in this new opportunity, cooperating with someone new. Um, someone could be making an offer here. Scorpio energy here. Aries energy here. There's an opportunity to move forward, but... You could be kind of being nurturing of self and being discerning about whether or not you're going to move forward. Because this is a new offer, but there is some imbalances within the offer. Some of you guys may be having, an, uh, it, may be not, it may not be reciprocal. Some of you guys could be dealing with karmic situations. You could be guarding yourself against karma situations. So you could be dealing with something that you've invested a lot of time in and then dealing with someone new as well. Why is this? Lovers, there's... <laughs> So you got a choice here. You got two people you're making a decision about, um, or two people that are coming to you with an offer. One coming with an offer of love, another coming with an offer uh, of a new life. 
So one romantic offer and one may be a whole new life offer, but you're worried here. Someone's in balance, worried about something. So the eight of pentacles here that's underlying, you've invested a lot of time into a situation. You moved away from that. Now you may be at, a, at an imbalance. You may be worried about a new offer here. You may be, you're in balance. You're trying to juggle whether or not you should move forward or not. Yeah, because you've invested so much time into something else. Seven of Swords here, Knight of Cups. Someone may be, ha, so someone's, ha, someone's confusing you. King of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Someone's confusing you um, by coming and bringing an offer. I believe for some of you guys, this is, yeah, this is karmic. So someone's holding on to you. Or either you're holding on to someone else, but there's a resistance against really making a decision. Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords here. Um, you're trying to work either on yourself. You could be trying to come into an alignment with what it is you desire. So you could be guarding off someone or resisting someone that may be coming in and creating sort of mental imbalances within you. You're trying to do what's right for yourself. Okay, so let's see what, let's see what this Three of Cups is about here. Got the Three of Cups. Why the Three of Cups here? I have the spirit cups here. Uh, boys, I got the full energy, queen of wands. You're moving away from a third party. Six of swords, yeah. You're moving away from a third party, being discerning. You're resisting a third party. That's why we got this four of swords and four of pentacles here. Because you're very much guarding yourself right now. You're on guard. You're very much on guard. Really needing to move forward here. You're deciding to move forward. You're moving in a new direction. You have all the motivation you need to really take a leap of faith. Boys, he said ma'am. So he should be coming in here. I usually don't say it but once. Boys. I know y'all heard me because you said ma'am. Ready to, you thought you said turn it down. No, come turn the oven off. Don't be okay. rushing to do that. A race and turn it on. Okay, don't turn my pot off. All right, so Knight of Swords here. Some of you guys could be taking action to move away from a situation, move away from a controlling relationship, move away from someone that could be trying to control your wealth. Judgment here, making a decision, will of fortune to move forward. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, gain your independence from a family situation or from a relationship. You're gaining, your, you're gaining your independence from a relationship that kept you at a lack. Like, together, you guys may have been able to function, but separately, you're at a lack. Mm -mm. No, separately, you're not at a lack. Separately, you're removing the foundation, the money out of the situation, and this person is at a lack. You're not at a lack because you're walking through these doors toward prosperity. Will of fortune, the fortune is going to move in your favor once you take action away from a third party. So some of you guys may have been really, hmm, you're moving forward. I know that setting boundaries to a situation. For some of you guys, like I'm telling you, someone's making a small offer to you. It may confuse you a little bit because Ten of Swords, you've already embraced the end of a situation. You found the strength to see something new, see this situation from a different perspective. You're resisting the imbalances. You know that the situation is imbalanced. High Priest is Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. So that's, I mean, Seven of Wands. That's why you're resisting because you're aware that this situation is imbalanced. Could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with an Aries. Um, why is the Aries energy here? Why is the Emperor energy here? Knight of Wands, Three of Cups. Yeah, you put your setting boundaries to a third party. Ace of Pentacles going towards something new. Full energy under that. You're taking a leap of faith towards something new. Some of you guys just know within your heart that you need to allow your concerns to fade away with this foundation that has already ended. Because this is an act. You're not actually in this. This could be like an ex coming back to kind of retest the waters. And you're just like, bruh, we, we've been done with that. All right, so why is this page of swords right here? Oh, my apologies. Why is this five of swords? Someone's in conflict about you removing them. Removing them. Seven of swords. Someone's in conflict about you removing yourself from their cycle. So they're still in a karmic cycle. Whoever you're dealing with or whoever you were dealing with, you were probably in a third party with, they're still wanting you to be a part of this third party. They're still trying to work on. It's almost like they're beating a dead horse. They're trying to get you back into this cycle. You are escaping the cycle. You're at a crossroads now and you're looking to the universe about which way to go. It's like you got your life in your hands and you're choosing to live and not be in this dead situation with this person. Now the source here, there is some anxiety. Some of you guys could be cruel. King of Pentacles here. Sun card, Will of Fortune. Someone has anxiety about you moving forward. Hey man, someone's a suspension. Wow. So someone, I don't, the anxiety, 
the anxiety isn't coming from you. You're moving forward. Now, you may be having anxiety about moving toward a new relationship. You may not be confident about a new partnership. You may have anxiety because there could even be some connection between you and this person. There is an emotional connection, but it'll keep you in suspense. Hangman is an underlying energy for swords. You're going to be back at square one if you decide to give back into the situation. Some of you guys need to find the confidence within yourself to remove yourself from the situation. Keep your guard up. Keep your guard up. So we're going to ground out this emotional ass energy here. Because it's a lot of being stuck, but you ain't emotionally stuck. Mentally, you may be trying to figure out what to do, but you're going to decide to move forward. And that causes anxiety with someone else. Why is... No. Give me guidance for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Mid-April. 2019. Guidance for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. <laughs> to make sure. Mid-April 2019. What guidance do we have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Mid-April 2019. Guidance for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mid-April 2019. Innocence. So this could be someone you've known from childhood. Could have children with this person. This is about your innocence. Someone is shape-shifting into someone innocent, trying to activate some passion within you. They view you as their sanctuary. Look, you need to breach. If you're the well in this situation, breach your damn self. Like you, you know what a breach well. I think breach wells. Let me look. Let me look in here and get the definition for y'all. But breach wells, um, they breach themselves when when the ties have changed in a situation when it's when you know they feel like the waters are unsafe. Um, so they could be breaching themselves, trying to find sanctuary within you, or they have been breached. Let's see what's going on here. Well, tsunami. It went to tsunami, so this could be a wake-up call. Leave me the fuck alone. Okay. It says, this powerful creature of the ocean takes a few great sweeps of his fan and propels himself briefly out of the waters where he spends the majority of his life. He's taken a break from the ordinary earth element in which he lives to exist even for a few moments in the realm of the blue skies. So you give them a sense of sanctuary and they're trying to activate this by using your innocence against you. Hmm. It says... All baleen whales breach, and none more spectacularly than the humpbacks. Considered the acrobats of the family, they arch, stretch, and twist their bodies as they approach the surface of the water. It may be an ancient matron rit mating ritual, a form of communication, or even a way to remove parasites. In this image, that humpback whale that has burst out the ocean expresses all palpable release, all palpable feelings of release and joy. Ooh, so it's time to activate that release within yourself. Find sanctuary within yourself. Okay, then. Woo. We experience an intense feeling of relief and can let go of any previously held fears and assumptions of what would happen once we overcome that barrier, whether it's emotional, mental, emotional or mental. Simply getting away from the trance of technology for a few hours and spending time in nature in a, in a breach from the trappings of civilization can suffocate us and prevent us from connecting to the earth. It says it's time to take a break. So some of you guys need to take a break. Maybe this situation is really familiar and they're activating something from your childhood, something that feels safe to you. This is, listen, I know what it says with breach, but for me to get shape-shifting under here with innocence, someone is shape-shifting into a vision of something you would like to see from your childhood. Maybe you dreamed of marrying someone like this, of marrying someone that brings the energy that this person brings. You need to activate your release and find sanctuary within your own self, within yourself. Go within your internal cave. Go within your hermit mode so you can understand what it means to really be free of this karmic, because this is karmic situation. Some of you guys, you're on guard for a reason. Pay attention to what you feel. That's all I have, y'all. Peace.